Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNuts and welcome back to our XCOM 2 Commander playthrough. Uh, we're gonna raid an Advent Troop Transport in this episode. So, a supply raid. Oh, I accidentally removed someone over there. Let's put Kristoff back. So, uh, for this mission, it's a moderate difficulty mission, so we're gonna be encountering uh, severe resistance. So we're gonna take on Geralt with his uh, double grenades, and then we have Cedric and uh, Vinny as our two sharpshooters to uh, clear out the back. Well, stay in the back and uh, take out anything that comes across their sights. Then we have Christoph, our uh, ranger that proved himself in our previous mission, where he killed, I think it was four enemies eventually. And then we have, of course, uh, our uh, main specialist, uh, Benito the Technician, uh, who's uh, doubling as a bit of a healer. We're gonna give the medkit to him. I also swapped the flashbang from Geralt to Christoph, since Christoph is gonna be uh, up close and personal, so he'll be the ideal guy to use the flashbang. So, here we go. Which is actually funny, because the four guys on the right are also the uh, original Game Night group that we uh, stream with on Twitch every Thursday. In position to drop. But, Operation Fire Mother, here we go. We picked up an alien transmission. They're trying to move an Advent troop transport the Resistance disabled during a recent skirmish. There's an opportunity here for us to pull some of their technology off the transport. But we'll need to secure the area and eliminate any remaining hostiles to make that happen. So I think that's pretty clear. Neutralize all enemy targets and to secure the supplies at the transport station. So it looks like there's a few ships grounded over there as well, which should provide us with a bit of, uh, well, uh, large cover. Full cover, that is. There we go. Launch. And when it turns quiet, we're dropped off in the wilderness of the new Arctic. Ooh. Menace one five. The Advent troop transport is nearby. Engage and eliminate all hostile forces. So on supply rates, we don't have a timer, but this is actually really nice. We start out on a a higher position, which is actually perfect for our double sniper layout right now. So I'm not going to waste too much time and boost everybody up a bit closer. So yeah, Christoph. On the front, of course, with his shotgun. Moving to designated coordinates. And then let's put Benito over here behind the, the tree. Gerald behind the rock here on the left. Moving to designated position. And we don't seem to trigger anything yet, so let's move a bit closer. Christoph on the left Good here, copy. and could we be able... No. Let's put Benito next to him. We don't seem to be triggering anything yet, so that should all be fine. Okay, so then let's position everybody. Well, our two snipers really nicely, back to back. And let's put them both on Overwatch. Oh, there we. Ooh. That is a new enemy type. These creatures, once operating under the guise of Fen Men, now show their true form a purely reptilian species. No reason for them to hide. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. So in the previous game, as they, uh, as Dr. Tigan mentioned, there were Tin Men, guys uh, dressed in suits that looked a lot like humans, but with reptilian eyes, but now they don't need an infiltration unit anymore. This uh, species is now here in full form in the flesh. So these guys are called Viper. Well, females actually, because for some reason they have boobs. Uh, don't ask me why. Um... So let's try and get everybody a bit closer. Don't think we don't have a... We don't have a timer, so we should be able to get everybody in position. We do have a nice bit of full cover around here. Moving out. And let's just put everybody... I can actually take a shot at the Viper. And actually do a nice bit of damage. Because we're going to just put everybody on Overwatch. Just in case anything happens. There we go. A long watch so they're just gonna slither along we don't really have an opening yet so let's just move everybody closer I do hear a turret as well something else we haven't encountered so far that might have been an opportunity I just actually let slip by but uh, let's just put everybody a bit closer move up as they say 
power. Do we see anybody else right now? Yeah, okay. So now we can see them both again, but that's probably out of sight of the snipers. Oh no. So they can see the trooper, but not the viper. Not, not that bad. Oh, yeah, Geralt, that's the one I need. And let's put him in full cover back here. Okay. I'm hoping they're patrolling left to right. Uh, is there anything? Ooh. There's an officer on the corner of the building there as well. So we do have to be careful. The turret is probably on top of this building over here somewhere. Because I hear it rotating. As you might have heard, just right there. Probably on top of this roof. Roof. Yeah, because it's coming closer when I move the camera over there. So, Scanning. let's put everybody on Overwatch. Maybe I'll put Cedric a bit closer, because we're going to need to get on top of that roof eventually. Actually, wait a second. Can we see them through the window over there? Can we? No, only the trooper, because I can see the Viper over there on the right in the window, but apparently that's not enough. So, let's move... Cedric up closer. Let's put him over here. That should Coming give him up. a nice shot through the window if needed. And put everybody else on Overwatch. What is going on? I can't do Roger, anything. Okay. That was weird. Roger. I got my eyes on it. Oh no, they're moving further. Which is not that bad because they're still... Oh, are they going around the building? If they are, we might actually surprise them on the sides there. Ooh, that's... Wow. Okay, so a Lancer, an Officer, and a Trooper. One of the first times we've seen a bunch of them spawn with three enemies. Okay, so nothing happened there yet. Um, hmm. There's not much full cover here to spare, although I could put... Um, hmm. Let's put Christoph in this full Moving. cover. Should still give him sight. Oh, there's turrets. the turret. There's We're the turret. Not entirely sure if they're fully automated or remotely triggered. But we can deal with that. That's not bad. Um, especially since we have sniper support in the back. We do have to be careful when I want to get on the roof because we can get on the roof over there. But since there's two, oh no, no. I think I should boost Cedric up the... There we go, Cedric. On top of the roof here and give him a nice overwatch shot of the area. You have to be careful that they don't spot me through that hole in the floor here. Um, let's put him over here for now. Got it covered. Hopefully I don't trigger anything. Don't pass any sidelines. I don't think we do. Just gonna have to be careful that they don't see him through the hole in the floor here. Well, in the roof. Um, do we put Geralt closer? We actually could. Get it there now. Let's put him over here. As close as possible. And we have a nice shot with Vinny over here on pretty much everything. Aside from the turret, apparently it's 50-50. But the turret is actually the first enemy we can actually hack with... Uh, over here, Haywire Protocol with uh, Benito's hacking ability, but we're gonna have to wait with that. Something we can try, but not just yet. Put him back oh, over here, since there are that many enemies over there. Put him on Overwatch as idea. well. And everybody Overwatch. else along with him. Overwatch. So they might spot Geralt in a minute, but they don't, okay? Don't want to let them run away too far. I'm gonna check. I think I can check the hacking just the, the same way as we could with the tower without breaking concealment. So, attempt to seize control. If we can, I think that gets us a shot at a few of the enemies. But what are the percentages here? So, stunning is 100%, but temporary taking control is 56%. Which is risky. A failed hack will increase this target's aim and defense stats. I could take it out immediately if I want to. So let's wait another turn and see what we can uh, set up here. Still don't see the Viper and the Trooper. So I think I'm going to take my chance. We're not going to get anything better than this. Gerald is actually pretty compromised right now. So they might spot him immediately anyway. Um, 
So let's start out with a frag grenade. And put that... Hmm. This would be nice. Uh, they're taken out immediately. And I could take out most of the cover along with it. Although this is the easiest way to take out the turret as well. And I can't do both, sadly. Although, if I wait one more turn, they might actually move in front of the turret. Allowing me to throw a grenade on four of them at the same time. Which would be nice. So yeah, overwatches again. And if they trigger the overwatch with Geralt, that uh, is taken care of as well. But they don't seem to spot him immediately. Oh, this is going to be perfect. Yeah, stop right, right there. Oh, this is amazing. I think I can hit all of them. This is going to be amazing. Geralt, please do the honors of uh, tossing a grenade in that bunch. So... I think... Can I put that higher up? I can, but I'm not... Ooh, I am. Okay. Geralt, um, without further ado, blast him to hell. Grenade! And that should take out the turret immediately. Because it's gonna drop down and that kills it immediately. And... Drop the turret. Drop drop the turret. Please, drop... Ooh, the, the trooper is dead. And the turret is down. Two kills for Geralt. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So we have a trooper and a uh, officer. No, the, the lancer and the officer. So we have 52 on the officer, which is not that great. But we can pretty much kill the lancer. Uh, we have Christoph to use him as a, an aggressive, well, runner, as his name implies. But what are, what are his shots from here? 42. So that heavy cover is really blocking our shots. Um, and Benito's aim is even worse. So let's check these percentages first. So Vinny's the furthest away. So let's give him a shot first. 3, 2, 1 in the face. Ooh, miss. Okay, that was, yeah, that was to be expected. I got nothing. Okay, that's not bad. Um, I think I'm gonna have to use Christoph to flank and... Oh, I can't even flank. I can't... Because of the gate, I can't move towards the... Oh, and I'm still concealed with Christoph as well. Right, because we got the ghost ability. Never mind, the phantom ability. Um, let's see what we can do. We have a sniper shot from up here, so we could probably take out the stun lancer with that. If we can take a pistol shot at the officer and whittle him down with at least two damage, that would allow Benito to kill him with the shock. So let's do lightning hands. That's the first time we use that. Ooh, three damage. That is enough. Okay. So now that doesn't take an action. So we could still use Cedric to blast a hole in the stun lancer's head. Please do. 84% chance. And down he goes. Okay, so that's that's taken care of easily. Not too shabby. Yeah, not too shabby indeed. So, Benito, if you would uh, like to do the honors. We've been using this a hell of a lot. So, combat protocol the officer, please. And uh, shock his... Uh, fry his brains out of his helmet. There we go. And that was four enemies taken care of. Easy as that. Uh, Kistov is still... Ooh, but... Why do we... Oh yeah, because we need to bust through the door. So that's why we're gonna be visible if we do that. So let's put him over okay. here. Uh, I think I can open the door silently. There we go. And then just... Ooh, let's put him over here and see if we can uh, find that viper and the trooper we're still missing. We don't see them yet. So we're gonna continue Kristoff's scouting round. Those holographic walls don't make a noise, and so that... Okay, so now we see them again. They're in the middle of that meadow. Um, let's move Cedric up a bit, so just that he can reach that wall in one move. Uh, just in case he want, we want to take another pistol shot. And in two turns we're going to be able to uh, use another lightning reflexes as well. So that might be good. Um, let's put... Benito 
on this full cover wall. I think we can move through the building. Yeah, we can. And we're pretty much... Well, we're pretty much covered, actually. So let's move him over here. They shouldn't spot him through the window. If I'm calculating my, uh, my corners correctly. Uh, and let's... I don't think... Yeah, if we put him here, he shouldn't be... Oh. He might be visible through the double windows over there. So let's just move him along the sides first. Confirmed. And just put him where Christoph was, where he didn't see anything. So yeah, there we go. Set this up nice and easy. And let's move Vinny closer as well. So let's put him over Copy here. Uh, and the rest of the guys on Overwatch. Roger, on. Got it covered. Okay, so they're moving back. Ooh, they might spot someone. Did the Viper just... Yeah, okay, the Viper stopped. What the hell was that? Who the hell did you see through that window? Okay, this might work in our advantage actually. So that triggers them early and we might get a few more overwatch shots. There we go. Through the floor apparently. Blam! There goes uh, part of that building. Um, and they saw the shotgunner, our shotgunner as well. They don't get a shot though. Which is good, so... Let's see, I think I should focus Kristoff on the Viper. If we can get a sword swipe in, that would be nice. Uh, what can Vinny see, actually? Because Vinny still needs a promotion, kind of. 57%, which is not great. I'm not gonna lie, that's not great. Um, but yeah, that's all we have for now, so let's take it. Here we go. Oh, and there goes the trooper. Did that give you a promotion? Enemy eliminated. Because you really need a promotion. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's great. Um, so now we can move to the corner and check out what Position we can do to that Viper. Uh, I don't actually know. This is supposed to be a supply raid, but... Oh, there are the supplies. We haven't even seen the supplies yet, so these glowing boxes are the supplies. Uh, yeah, we're not going to come anywhere near that. We can't see the Viper and we can't reach him with a sword swipe, so we still have the flashbang if anything goes wrong. Ooh. Benito can actually see this guy through the window. Oh, and Geralt can even see him. Uh, well, Geralt, you still have a grenade left, don't you? How far can you get that? Oh, I saw that. Ooh, and that, ga Ooh, that gas tank is gonna explode as well. That might just kill him immediately. Well, why not, hey? If anything, it makes a, it creates a clear line of sight for everybody else. So that's three and four damage. Oh, and another four damage. Yeah, that was the Viper. Taken care of really easy. Okay, so we're not done yet. Uh, I'm not going to waste his turn. I'm going to move. I'm going to guess if they're not, because this doesn't move back much closer. They're probably going to be here somewhere, so... Don't want to move that much further without backup. So let's just move him towards the corner here. Get him in a bit of a better position. And on Overwatch. Put Cedric on the roof here. We're still on the roof, so let's put him on this Overwatch place over here. Not triggering anything. Great. Uh, and that's that, apparently. So let's put them on Overwatch and see what else happens. Well, the building is breaking down, but that shouldn't be too bad. I don't think that's going to reach Cedric over there. And otherwise, he's not going to die from that, I hope. Yeah, six health, he's not going to die from a, a little fall. Um, we don't have concealment anymore, which is painful for our reconnaissance. But I'm going to use this extra turn to move our second sniper to the wall as well, go, to go, the, go. the ceiling. Let's pull our focus to this ship over here. Because uh, they might be hiding either inside or behind the ship. There's a lot of enemies on this map. Um, so let's just to be sure put Cedric over here. And then put everybody on Overwatch again. We don't want to rush anything. We have all the time in the world. Yeah, there we go. I saw something. Oh, you're gonna get shot in the face. Shotgun from the across the map. Kristoff's aim is really, really good. Lately, one damage because of the stock. 
and that Lancer doesn't know what's happening. There must be something else. I think I saw... Ooh. Was that a double Lancer and a Sectoid? Oh, wow. Am I glad we didn't trigger that sooner? And a pistol. Oh, wow. This is looking really cool. And there goes one of the Lancers. Yep, that was one of the Lancers. With the pistol shot, I think. That was really, really nicely done. Okay. So we have lightning reflexes back, so that is good. Uh, which we actually could, so they both have full health. Um, shotgun shots aren't that great, but I think I can actually reach for a sword swipe as well if I want to. Um, let's see what we can do, because that's of course a last measure. Benito has a 55% shot, but might be better if we move him up. Gerald, we could put you in full cover, but that's not going to help if you're going to get flanked either way. So let's put you over here. Affirmative. Moving out. None of them are on Overwatch. And now let's see what your... You have a flank shot on the Stun Lancer. Still 33% on the Sector. So let's try on the Stun Lancer. Oh, and critical down immediately. That was... <laughs> That was really, really nice. Okay. So, you're on the reserves indeed. So, 67. Ooh, that's actually not bad. What can we do with the pistol? So, 47. Through that, through that armor-plated ship for some reason. But, uh, never mind. Let's try that anyway. Three damage. He might actually take him out. Um... So, the shot is 67, which isn't guaranteed, of course. But I do have a few other soldiers available to me. So let's put Benito over here. Okay, we still have line of sight. 35%, not great. And we still have... We still have Vinny as well, but he can't actually... Shoot with his, uh, with his sniper rifle there. But with the pistol, he has a 40% chance. But I might actually use your grenade on that... Huh, why not, eh? How far does the grenade reach? Could I? Yeah, I could. If I drop you down... If I drop you down to... Yeah, next to Benito over here. To position. And allow you to use your grenade. That should actually make an opening for Cedric, I hope. I'm not really sure if that's gonna destroy the wing. It's not. So, the only thing I could do with, with him right now is the pistol, but... Let's try the sword first, because I, I, I really like the sword. Don't know why, I really, really, really like how it works. And we get the loot immediately as well, so... Bonus points. Again, 6 to 8 damage. I don't really know why that is, because I'm not using the Blade Master skill, which would boost the damage with 2. But maybe they updated that and they fixed that, they buffed that with one of the updates. But, here we go. 91%, here we go! Ooh. 9 damage, that was a critical hit. And yeah, to take the loot as well. Oh yeah! 9 kills, flawless. Nobody got wounded, nobody got killed. And we, well, we took our sweet time with 15 turns. But that was a really cool mission. And that only took us about half an hour, which is also really cool. So nobody got under fire. A 100% successful shot percentage. That's not really correct again, but never mind. And Geralt made most attacks and dealt most damage, of course, with his uh, amazing double kill grenade at the beginning. And of course, the runner still uh, making his name true with uh, moving the furthest in this mission. And I think we also got two or three promotions out of that. I think both Geralt and Vinny got a promotion. Don't know about the rest no per se. Oh no, right only now. Vinny got a promotion. I'm impressed, Commander. Okay, so Vinny promoted. And uh, of course we're gonna take Long Watch as well. And his aim is boosted a bit as well. So Long Watch, there we go. Uh, and nothing else it seems. I do, I'm wondering about the loot though. What did we get? An advanced auto loader, which is really, really good. Especially on sniper rifles. Uh, the advent data pad again. And then, wow. So two trooper corpses, a turret, wreck, three stun lancers, an officer, viper, sectoid, 
and then a whopping 58 alloys which is gonna come in handy when the uh, magnetic weapons research is completed Illyrium crystals not really have a use for that just yet but that's gonna come in handy later on a 132 supplies and two Illyrium cores we're gonna be able to use those for uh, upgrades and a viper autopsy this creature is clearly reptilian in nature although it appears to be not only sentient but also highly intelligent Still, the underlying physiology is remarkably similar to a number of terrestrial species, including the, venom, including the venom sacs, which we might be able to synthesize and incorporate for use in our medical supplies, hinting at the uh, great use in our, uh, for improving our medkits. And then the turret breaks down. The advent turrets rely on the aliens' advanced automation technology, providing security emplacements to bolster their peacekeeping forces. Once we've gotten a look at the inner workings, we may be able to integrate the technology to improve our chances of defending against UFO attacks. There we go! A very, very big bunch of uh, stuff that is added to the pile of loot. Um, I think I'm gonna wait with giving... The autoloaders are really... The autoloaders are really good on sniper rifles, because sniper rifles... Uh, you can't. You can only fire them on the first Advent's turn. Advent's got their propaganda machine working overtime. We're still seeing a steady flow of migrants heading into the cities. I'm not sure they have to do all that much convincing at this point. And I'm not sure I'd trade my freedom for a few hot meals and the cure for the common cold. Well, maybe not. But what about the terminally ill, the elderly, or the disabled? The aliens can offer them something we can't. Something most people would trade anything for. You're wrong about that, Doctor. We can offer them freedom, even if it means they have to endure the pains of being human. I just hope they see it that way. Yeah, because the aliens give them a lot of benefits as well, for now. Uh, so what was I saying about the sniper rifles? So sniper rifles can only be fired on the first of your turns. So if you need to reload, you can't fire the sniper rifle immediately. If you add an autoloader, you can reload freely uh, without using an action for uh, one or more tries. So the advanced autoloader uh, gives you two free reloads, I think. So that would be really nice on the... That's the reason why it's really nice on the sniper rifle. Uh, but we do have two scopes right now, so let's keep it like that. Uh, let's head to the bridge, yeah. What were we scanning before that all happened? So the black market is now open. Um, well, it's not open. We need to locate it first. So the resistance has heard rumors of a black market in the wilderness near one of our havens. If we scan the area, we may be able to locate them and see what they have to offer. Let's see what we were doing first. It doesn't seem like we were doing anything. We were just uh, healing faster at Resistance HQ. So let's head to the Black Market. Avenger plotting new Because the Black Market is really, really good to get ourselves a bit more supplies by selling uh, excess corpses we have. So let's start searching for those guys. Uh, one day left. And that's completed. The Black Market has been successfully located, Commander. They seem willing to provide us with material support in exchange for intel. They're also eager to buy any unused items we can spare. So we can buy things with intel, so that's why intel is really important. And we can sell inventory to get a bit more supplies. So right now they have Lyran Crystals, a single autoloader hair trigger, advanced conditioning PCS, which could be nice but it's a bit pricey. 100 supplies for the intel, an extra grenadier, or rushing research on a few autopsies. We don't really need that, so... The PCS is really, really interesting. I could get it, because that would improve the health of a single soldier. And it's really good. Advanced conditioning is really good. So let's just get it. There we go. We could get the 100 supplies if needs be, but I don't think we need the supplies just yet. Um, so yeah, let's get back, uh, check out our soldiers, so let's go to the armory over here, and let's check out which soldier would benefit the most from a health boost, probably ones that are closer, so I think Kistoff might actually be, uh, the prime candidate for a PCS implant. That gives him 2 HP extra, although, of course, our heavies would uh, benefit from that as well. Hmm. No, I'm gonna give it to Kristoff. Uh, so, personal combat sim. And let's give him two more health. So, it can be replaced, but not reused for now. Are you sure you want to install? Yes. 
So now uh, Christoph's health has been permanently boosted to eight blocks instead of six. There we go. Uh, let's get back to the bridge and continue our scanning. I uh, don't think we need anything from the black market right now. We could get more rookies. Uh, although seven days is a bitch. A bitch? Yeah, not a bitch. A bit harsh. Um, or we could make contact with something else. Another region. Which is also very nice. I'm gonna contact East Asia first then. So let's go over here and make contact for 40 intel. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. So there we go, Shen indicating that we can't make contact with any more regions after this one. So making contact. Attempting to establish and we need to create another uh, new room for that. So Cecil Harambe has uh, turned into a grenadier, so now he can lob grenades uh, the same way that uh, Vryer and uh, Geralt are doing already. So let's carry on. Let's quickly head back to the uh, officer. The guerrilla tactics school. I uh, apologize. And let's see. I don't think we have that many rookies left. Uh, so we have two left. I think I'm going to keep them there for now. But I might want to check these things. Wet work is really, really powerful. The, so that boosts every experience gain from uh, kills by 25%. I do want that. But I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, because we might need the supplies really soon. So let's save up on that first. So let's go to the bridge again and continue uh, making contact with uh, East Asia. There we go, keep it easy, keep it coming, keep it coming. Yeah, okay. So that makes that region ours, well, we may just made contact with the resistance cell, but it kind of makes it ours, because we get more supplies each month. And uh, more missions will open up as well, enabling us to block more uh, dark events. Reading you loud and clear. There we go, 66 supplies New added. Regional contacts located. There we go, no, now we can actually make contact with New India as well, and New Indonesia. I think India is still part of Asia, so if we can get that, we're gonna get the continent bonus. Well, close to the continent bonus. The rookies have disappeared, so I might actually just go to Resistance HQ and just heal a bit Setting faster, because we still have a few territories. a few soldiers in the med bay that I want to get back. So Ulrich and Smongo, uh, Ulrich and uh, Humongous, I want to get those guys back. So let's heal further. Incoming transmission, here we go, another uh, cancel mission. Let's see what we got. Operation Demon Walk, we need to extract another VIP, an engineer, that will come in handy, and a whopping 85 intel. Well, why not, A? Eh? So there we go, this squad did an amazing job in the previous, uh, the previous mission, but do I have any of my uh, amazing guys back? So yeah, Smongo, Humongous, we're gonna get you back and give you the med kit again, so let's edit this out. Give Benito a grenade again. There we go. And give the med kit to Humongous. There we go. Grenade. And make that a med kit. Now we have a, a really good uh, healer again. Um, the hair trigger. Just curious about the weapon upgrades. So we got the hair trigger, if I'm not mistaken. So again, the bonus action chance. I'm not gonna do that. I don't really like hair triggers. There's a, a much better uh, gear in the game than that. Um, we don't have a second grenadier again, so Ulrich is still in the med bay for one more day, I think. And he's a bit shaken, but that might uh, we might fix that in the next mission. Uh, not the one that we're gonna do right now, but the one after that. But before we head into this uh, VIP extraction, I'm gonna take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube and you can still uh, add new characters if you want to. So just leave those in the comments. Uh, and uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. And uh, well, with that said, thank you and guys again enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye!